Hey folks, what's happening? I just got some um, disturbing news about what's going on in the uh, city of Lansing, which is the state capital in my home state of Michigan. Seems that um, a group of um, conservatives who reside in that state have bonded together to have a protest. And what they're protesting is the stay-at-home order issued by Michigan's current governor, Gretchen Whitmer. Now, of course, the stay-at-home order is obviously there for a reason. To help people not get the coronavirus. Now, I understand we're all in lockdown. Every other state is going through the same thing. But these people are angry, and they're angry for a good, damn good reason. They're angry because they're not able to go to work. They're angry that their businesses have been shut down. The place I used to work at, the golf club, that's been shut down for a while. I've been applying here and there and all these other places. Some of those places are not even hiring because of this bullshit. So I can understand where these guys and gals are coming from. I'm sick and tired of staying home myself. I would like to take a walk or do something. Of course, I have a, you're going to need a little mask. I have one on my desk here. All I need is now our vinyl gloves and, of course, keep six feet away from people. I'm good at doing that. Some of the areas that I walk to at times are just open fields, open areas where there are no people. So that should help. But I can understand where they're coming from. Businesses are dying. There are people there who need to feed their families and themselves. They need to earn a dollar. There's not much online jobs out there. I've been looking myself. And uh, some of them don't really pay as much as my old job used to. But then again, every pay rate is different for whichever job you apply for. Now, but the thing is, now, here's something that I also heard about on Facebook while they're talking about this subject. For I understand, some of these um, people in their cars have been blocking, blocking ambulances from getting to hospitals, which whatever victim they have in the, um, in the ambulance, whether it's a car wreck victim, coronavirus victim, or... Um, someone from an injury or whichever injury it was, whether it's work-related or not. If that is so, then shame on those motherfuckers for doing that. I understand you're angry, but don't let people who need medical treatment get denied that. I also, under, like I said, I also understand you're also angry over the fact that you have to stay at home. I don't like being at home myself. I like, as I mentioned earlier, I'd be out there doing things. But, come to the realization, this shit is for real, man. One of the stories that we uh, lived nearby, they just had their first corona case. Found out a couple hours ago. This shit is real, folks. This shit is real. And I don't want to be the next one in line to get it. If I did get it, I'd be a dead fucker either way because of my type 1 diabetes. I'd like to know what everybody else is thinking. I want everybody to hear thoughts on this whole thing there. There's one more thing I need to say about this. This action is going to make the right wing look dumb. I understand the left wing is looking more dumb or not now with the accusations are thrown out against Donald Trump. All the stories about the um, Russian interference with the election. All this namby pamby whining, bitching, crying because of he's still our president and they want him gone. But actions like this are going to make the right wing look dumb. 
people. Let's everybody work together. Okay, I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and leave the comments below. I want to hear what everybody has to say about this. Bye-bye.